after it's on now. Yeah, yeah. Put, put your hand in there, yeah. Is the lamb that was shed his blood for you. Is the lamb that was prepared for you. He was the perfect lamb who knew no wrong. But when he died on that cross, he died as a saviour. He died on that cross as your Lord and saviour. There, he was the lamb that hung on that cross who was perfect, who knew no sin. He was the lamb of God who knew no sin. He was the lamb of God who knew no sin. John the Baptist said, Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. You need your sin taken away. Have you ever lied? Have you stolen? Have you slept around? Have you been full of anger? Have you been full of hate? Have you been smoking wacky wacky? Have you been taking crack cocaine? Have you been into material things more than God? Have you got drunk? We've all sinned, we've all made a mistake, we've all let God down. But he was the lamb. He was the lamb that was shed for you. He was the lamb that was prepared for you. The beautiful saviour. Oh, he was beautiful, he knew no wrong. He was perfect, he never lied. He never did anything wrong. He was perfect, holy and pure. And he was prepared for you. He was prepared by God for you to die on that cross, to die as a saviour. They scourged him. They laughed at him. They mocked him. It says in John chapter 19, in John chapter 19, then Pilate therefore took Jesus and scourged him. And the soldiers planted a crown of thorns and put it on his head. And they put it on a purple robe and said, Hail, King of the Jews. And they smote him with their hands. Pilate therefore went forth again and said unto them, Behold, I bring forth to you that you may know that I find no fault in him. He had no fault. He did no wrong. He never ever sinned once. He never ever sinned once. Yet he was being laughed at. He was being mocked at. He was being whipped. He was being humiliated. Why? He was being humiliated for you. He was being laughed at for you. Because there is a judgment day. There is a judgment day. When you do things wrong. When you do things wrong. It doesn't end when you die. There is a judgment day. You do come before God on judgment day. Don't lie. Have you ever lied? Don't steal. Have you ever stolen? Don't commit adultery. Have you ever committed adultery? Don't commit adultery. Don't commit adultery. Don't lie. Don't steal. Don't get drunk. Don't mock God. Don't curse God. Don't have an idol of money or sex or power. Don't have an idol and worship it. Don't do these things. When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he brought Jesus forth and sat down in the judgment seat in the place that he called the pavement. Then delivered he therefore unto them to crucify, and they took Jesus and led him away. And he bearing his cross went forth into a place called the place of a skull, which is called the Hebrew Golgotha, where they crucified him, two other with him, on either side one, and Jesus in the midst. They crucified him. They crucified him. He did no wrong. His own people crucified him. He done no wrong. But his own people crucified him. His own people said, crucify him. And when they took him, when they whipped him, when they mocked him, when they spat at him, when they hit his face, when they lifted him up, and nailed him to that cross. When they did that, he was dying as a murderer, but he'd done no murder. He was dying as a thief, but he'd done no thieving. 
He was dying as an adulterer, but he done no adultery. He was dying on your behalf. He was dying on your behalf so that you wouldn't go to hell. That's why he died. You got a question, sir? He died on that cross on your behalf so that you wouldn't go to hell. Do you want to go to hell? Do you want to go there? He died for you on that cross so that you wouldn't go to hell. He died on that cross so you wouldn't go to hell. That's why he died on the cross. Oh, the crown of thorns. The crown of thorns upon his head. Look at him. Nailed to the cross. A crown of thorns nailed on that cross for you. Shedding his blood for you. Look at him. How he died for the thief. How he died for the murderer. How he died for the adulterer. How he died for the anger, the hatred. Look how he died. Look at him how he died. Behold him. He who knew no sin died on your behalf. He brought reconciliation for you and me. And he brought it with the cross. He brought it with the cross. That's why he died on that cross. He brought it with the cross. He paid it with his own blood. So that you could be redeemed. So that you could be redeemed. So that you could be washed and clean. So that you could be forgiven. Or do you prefer the drugs? Or do you prefer the lying? Or do you prefer the stealing? Or do you prefer the gossiping? Or do you prefer the anger? Or do you prefer to get drunk? Or do you prefer to sleep around? And if you prefer it, then you're running right into hell. If you prefer it, then you're running right into hell. hell here's and there hell, is hell. no hope for you if you do that. But there is a hope for you at the cross. At the cross, he showed his love. God demonstrates his own love to us. That while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He demonstrates his own love for us. God bless you. He demonstrates his own love for us. That while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Every time you look at Paul, he died for you. Every time you gossip, he died for you. Every time you were full of anger or hit someone, he died for you. He died on that cross to bring you home. He died on that cross to bring you home. So I'll go home and I won't preach again if you can answer this question. When you die, what will happen to you? What will happen to you when you die? When you die, what will happen to you? I tell you what will happen, you come before God. And you need to know Christ, you need to know the Saviour. If you don't know the Saviour, you're lost. If you don't know Him, you're lost. You're lost forever and ever. You need to know Him. You need to know His love. You need to know His grace. You need to know His kindness. You need to know Him. And if you don't know Him, you're lost. Because He is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He is the King of history. The King of your life. And if you reject the King of your life, if you reject the King of history, then you're lost forever. You're lost forever. You need Christ. You need Him. Who is the light of the world. You need Christ. No, there is life in Christ. Life in Him. Life more abundant in Him. You don't have to sit in a bedroom smoking wacky wacky all week. You don't have to swear like a gangster rapper. Swearing like a gangster rapper thinking you're a hard man. You ain't hard swearing like a gangster rapper. You ain't a cool dude if you're swearing like a gangster rapper. You ain't cool swearing in front of your mum or swearing in front of your dad or swearing in front of your parents. But to know Christ, we've all made mistakes, we've all failed, I failed. But he died when I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory died. The Prince of Glory, the glorious Savior Jesus. Oh, he's glorious. He took your blow. He took your punishment. He took your whipping. He took your judgment for the things that you did wrong. He took blow upon blow, humiliation upon humiliation to save you. 
And you say, Jay, I don't want it. I'm going to go to hell on my wacky baki. I'm going to go to hell on my crack cocaine. I'm going to go to hell sleeping around. I'm going to go to hell. I don't care, Jay. Well, Christ cared enough to die on the cross for your sin. He died enough for you to die on that cross for you. So you need to care. You need to care. Because if you reject him, that is only weeping and gnashing of teeth. You said, Jay, how can you say there's a hell? How do you know there's a hell? I'll tell you how I know. Because we live in a moral universe. Because what you sow here, you reap in eternity. That's why you need to know Christ. You need to know him who died for you. So pull up. Pull up and come home. Pull up out of the drugs. Pull up out of the drink. Pull up out of the gossip. You don't have to fiddle the electric bill. You don't have to fiddle the gas bill. You don't have to con the tax man. You don't need to do that. You don't need to be an Alpha Daily or a Del Boy. You don't need to be ducking and diving. You need Jesus. You need the Lord. You need the Savior. You need Christ. You need Him who came to die on that cross. He took the whipping. He took the humiliation for you on that cross. Older, come on. Wake up, older. Wake up, Oldham, wake up! Wake up! Don't go to the nightclub this week. Don't go to the nightclubs and get drunk. Don't go to the nightclubs and have a, a one night stand. Wake up! Wake up! That'll take you to hell! Don't be having a one night stand. Don't be going and getting drunk at the nightclubs. Don't be fighting on the streets. Wake up! Wake up! Awake, Oldham! Awake! And realize that God came down and God died for you. God shed his blood. Lying is not a way to live. Stop lying. Thou shalt not lie. Have you lied this week? Did you lie to your girlfriend? Did you lie to the government? Did you lie to the tax man? Have you lied this week? Thou shalt not lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. Thou shalt not lie. Thou shalt not steal. Have you stolen? Don't steal anymore. Don't steal from the government. Don't steal from the council. Don't steal from the tax man. Have you stolen? Thou shalt not steal. How dare you steal? How dare you lie? How dare you commit adultery? How dare you do that? You're breaking God's law. And God has come to die for you on a cross. No talk, fellas. He come to die on a cross to bring you home. No talk, fucking He come to die on a cross to bring you home. He came to die on a cross to bring you home, sir. He came to die on a cross, to bring, to, die on a cross to bring you home, sir. He died on that cross. He shed his blood for you, sir. Have you ever lied, sir? Have you ever lied, sir? Have you ever lied, sir? You're talking bollocks, you. Have you ever lied, sir? Yeah. Well, he died for your lies, sir. He did, bollocks. He did, sir. I've seen blue. Have you ever stolen? Yeah. He died for your stealing. He did, bollocks. He did. He was whipped. He was scourged. He was mocked. He was humiliated for you, sir. You're talking bollocks, you. He died on that cross for you. You're talking bollocks. He died on that cross for you, sir. You're talking bollocks, man. My friend, he gave his life for you on that Listen, cross. Listen, I've seen a demon five times in my life, not five years. But have you trusted Jesus, sir? I've seen Jesus. No, have no, you no. Have you trusted Jesus, you sir? You don't see Jesus. Have you trusted you Jesus, see, Jesus, You don't see Christ. You don't see Jesus. You don't see Christ and the demon. Have you trusted Jesus, you sir? No, I've seen them. They come to me. But have you had faith in you him? You don't even know what you're on about. The demons have seen you're Jesus, right. but they don't believe in Jesus, sir. You can see Jesus, but it don't mean you believe in him. It. it doesn't mean you believe in them. If you've never seen Lucifer, you've never seen a demon. How come you stand in every cross? I know there is a devil, sir. I know there's a devil. But what I know is that Christ died on that cross. He gave his life for you on that cross. He shed his blood for you on that cross. He gave his all for you on that cross. That's what he gave for you today. 
my friends. When he, he was don't know what you're talking about. Answer this question, and I'll go home if you answer it right. Yeah. Go on, man. When Jesus was in in the courtyard, I don't know Jesus. Right. Don't cry. They whipped him. They scourged him. They humiliated him. Yeah. I don't know They Jesus. laughed at him and they Jesus mocked him. They now. humiliated him and they laughed at him. Let me ask you this: Why did he get laughed at? Why did he get mocked? I don't know. I'll tell you why. Tell me. He was the lamb that was shedding his blood for you. He was dying on your behalf as your savior. He was. He was dying as your savior. He was dying as your Lord, sir. That's no, why. Listen, he he was dying you. for you. My friend, he gave his life so no, much for you. Listen, listen. He loved you so He's much. The wrong guy the stick no, here, Jesus yeah. gave He's his life for you. The he gave his life for you on that cross. He gave his life for you, sir. He, he did. He gave his life. And you need Jesus, you need him as your Lord and your Savior. That's who you need. You need Christ. No, he was nailed to that cross. And he was nailed on the cross for you. Let me ask you something. If you died tonight, where are you going? Hell. No, you don't have to if you believe in Jesus today. Listen, listen. And be reconciled to God. And know that God can be your Savior. Know that God can be your Lord. I've sat with demons, I've sat with the devil. My friend, there are demons, many, many demons. I'm not mad. But the most about. important yeah, thing, Jesus is over the demons. Is Jesus, no? oh, Jesus destroyed the demons. When? When he died on the cross, he destroyed evil, sir. Oh, so they all got, they all and died. you need Christ, you need Jesus, you need the Lord, you need him as your Lord and Savior. I've already got him. No, you haven't. You need him to believe in him and to turn to him and trust I don't in think him. You know what and you have about. faith, I do, sir. I tell you why. Do you know why? I, because I'm an ambassador of Jesus. Have I speak on his behalf. So you met Lucifer. And I know Jesus personally. Sir. Have you met Lucifer? And Jesus says this have in his word. Lucifer? Jesus says this have in his word. Have you met I, I felt his power. I, like that. I if felt you, his attack. If you met but I'm covered in the blood Listen, of Jesus. Stop talking. I'm covered in the blood of Jesus. Just shut your mouth. No, minute. sir. I will preach, sir. I'm covered in the blood of Jesus. I'm here to You're preach, sir. I'm here to preach the gospel that Christ died on that cross. He shed his blood for you. He gave his life for you. The devil is destroyed, sir. The devil is destroyed. God bless you, sir. Have a lovely day. Do you want a coffee? Do you want me to buy you a coffee? I'm going to tell you. Do you want a coffee? I've a demon. Do you want a coffee, sir? I've a demon in your life. Do you want to come for a coffee? I've given a demon. Okay, I've offered you a coffee. What does a demon come with? They come in many forms, demon. No, no. The demon that comes in one. The devil is destroyed. The demons are destroyed by Jesus. Their power is gone. Because his blood was shed. And when he shed his blood, he destroyed the devil. He destroyed the demons. You don't have to fear him anymore. My friend, talk more about Jesus than demons. Talk about Jesus, the Lamb of God. Talk about Jesus, who gave his life for you. Talk about him, yeah, man. who gave his all. You should be in bed, My yeah. friends, they said that Jesus was mad, you need but he was the Son of God. Chill, yeah. You need Jesus. He a bit chill, have you yeah. ever stolen, sir? Go, sir. Have you ever looked at a woman in lust? Oh, oh, yeah. Jesus died for your lust. He died for your stealing, sir. He died for those things. You know what I can? Uh, what I, I, I'm trying to get there in my head here. Right? You've got one. You're one focused man, you. On Christ, sir. Yeah. So you're saying you're side. You're saying dark side here. I've been to the dark side. You haven't. I have, sir. Right, then what's the demon look like? Before, before, before. What's the demon let me got? tell. Let me tell what's you. Let out of the way, sir. Wait a minute, we've got a going to me. Yeah, there's someone, the BBC. No, I'm always talking. Jesus defeated demons. Sir. It says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities. The Bible teaches about demons. You mad, But you. Jesus died on that cross and defeated demons, sir. No, he didn't. He defeated demons. No, he he did. He did by his blood. That's why he's in the courtyard. That's why they want him. That's why they mocked him. That's why they humiliated him. He died on your behalf, sir. And that's what you need. You need Christ. You need to repent and believe in Jesus. You need to trust Him. That's why we're here today, to share the love of God. Jesus loved and died for you on that cross. And if you want to get saved, you look to Him. You believe in Him and you trust in Him. There's truth. It's truth. It's not a lie. You can provide evidence if you want evidence. Do you want any evidence? Do you believe in Islam? I'm Muslim. You're Muslim. Why do you buy your Muslim? I'm a Muslim, I believe I shall not die in the last. I do not have a comment on the Sula last. The religion is not Jesus, that he made it with the mother. Let me ask you this. Surah 6, 34. What is Surah 6, 34? Don't talk to me about your religion, I'm Muslim. Surah 6, 34. Don't talk to me about that. Surah 6, 34.
What was Surah 634 saying? Surah 634. Surah 634 says, my word does not change. So why, as Muslims, do you say the Bible has changed? Why do Muslims say the Bible has changed when the Quran says, when the Quran says, the Bible hasn't changed? The Quran says, the Bible's not changed. So why do you say it's changed? So, let me ask you this. Why do Muslims say the Bible has changed? Why do Muslims say the Bible's changed? When the Quran says, when the Quran says the Bible's not changed, Surah 634. Surah 634. You need to read your Quran. Jesus came to die on that cross to save you. And I just want to say, sir, you swore at me. I don't think Muhammad would have sworn at me, sir. So follow your prophet, sir. Jesus Christ died on that cross. He shed his blood for you today, to give you a hope and a future today. So come on, olden folks, pack in the drugs, pack in the wacky backy, pack in swearing like a gangster rapper, pack it in, pack it in, pack it in, no swearing like a gangster rapper. Did you swear last week, sir? Yeah, I did. No swearing like a gangster rapper. Jesus, you swear, you swore Jesus died on that cross you for you. I didn't swear, he swore. He went against the Quran. He went against the prophet. So you try to say you never swore in your life? I swore, but I'm forgiven in Jesus, sir. He died on that cross for me. He was scourged and mocked for me on that cross. Are you forgiven? Surah 34, what does it say, sir? Are you a Muslim, sir? Yeah, I am. Surah 634, what does it say? I'll tell you what it says. Surah 634 says this. It says, my word cannot change. Do you know the context of that, sir? I'll tell you the context. I'll tell you what it says. It says they tried to defeat the messengers and then your Quran says, my word cannot change. So the messengers is this, sir. So why is it, why is it, why is it, why is it Muslims say the Bible's changed when the Quran says it's not changed? Yeah? He died on that cross to save you. He died on that cross to bring you home. He died on that cross to save you. I'm waiting my breath on myself. sir. Do you know this city, this town? Do you know it? Yeah. yeah. Do you know where I'm from, sir? Where are you from? I'm from Holland, sir. Yeah. So I have a right to preach in my own town. I was born in Chatham, I lived in Worth, and I have a right to preach that Jesus died on the cross. It's not just for Muslims, sir, but all of them, it's for everybody, sir. Yeah, it's for everybody. No, yeah, everybody, sir. Not just for Muslims, everybody, yeah? He came for this land is for everybody, not just Muslims. I have a right to preach in my old town. I have a right to preach in my old town, sir. I have a right to preach in my own town the gospel that Jesus died on a cross for my sin and your sin. He gave his life on a cross. So get used to it, Muslims. The gospel will be preached in Oldham, yeah? Jesus Christ gave his life. Surah 634. You're swearing at me. As a Muslim, you're swearing at me. You don't represent all of Islam. You don't represent all of Islam. Most of the Muslims here will not say what you're saying, sir. In fact, I'm well known in this town by the Muslim community. And if the Emirates found out what you're doing, they would not be happy with you, sir. Jesus died on that cross. He gave his life for you. He shed his blood for you. He gave his all for you on that cross. He died on that cross for you. And that's why we're here today, so that you could come home to heaven. Come home and know him as your Lord and Savior. Come home and know him as your King. Come home and know him as your God. When Christ was in that courtyard, they searched him with a whip. With a whip, they put knife and bones. God bless you, sir. God bless you. You agree with me, don't you, sir? Yeah, thank you, sir. God bless you. They, they put whips and bones. They whipped him with bones and steel. They whipped his back. But when he was dying, he was dying on your behalf. 
He was dying for you on that cross. He was giving his life for you on that cross. He was shedding his blood for you on that cross. That's why he died on that cross. He gave his all for you. And we want you to go to heaven. We don't want you to go to hell. Jesus gave his life for you. Jesus shed his blood for you. He gave his all for you on that cross. If I die tonight, I'd be happy. Do you know why? Because I've told you how to get to heaven. By believing in Christ, by believing in him. My name's Jay. If you want to talk to me, ask questions, come and ask. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Take care. Turn it off. Yeah.